पिछले दिन ही साडे फैडरल मिनिस्टर मानजोग नवदीप सिंह बैंसूणी वैनकूवर इलाके आए हुए सन तो उन्होंने देश प्रदेश टीवी के नाल गलबात की जिड़ी कि असी अपने दर्शकों के नाल साझी कर जा रहे हाँ गलबात कर रहे हैं विजय भैभव सैनी जो इन्होंने अपना पहला इलेक्शन जितया से उदों ये सिर्फ छब्बी साल सन तो पिछले डेढ़ साल तो यह प्रधानमंत्री जस्टिन ट्रूडो की कॉम्पीटेंट और डायवर्स कैबिनेट में मिनिस्टर ऑफ इनोवेशन सैंस एंड एकनोमिक डिवेलपमेंट हैं ये हैं नवदीप बैंस बैंस साहब तुम्हारा स्वागत है हाँ जी सत श्रीकाल टू यू एंड ऑल दिसनर्स इज वॉल जी सत श्रीकाल अच्छा ये दसो जोड़ा यह पोर्टफोलियो है मिनिस्टर ऑफ इनोवेशन सैंस एंड एकनोमिक डिवेलपमेंट पहला यह पोर्टफोलियो एग्जिस्ट नहीं करता से डेढ़ साल किस तरह का एक्सपीरियंस रहा सो तो तीस बिल्कुल ठीक कह रहे हैं पहलों इन इंडस्ट्री कैनेडा कहते हैं इन फिर नवा नवा टाइटल दिता गया टू रिफलैक्ट आर न्यू प्रायोरिटीज आर फोकस ऑन सैंस इनोवेशन एंड इकनोमिक डिवेलपमेंट कि जी सा सैंस आ जी इनोवेशन है उन्होंने जॉब्स भी क्रिएट होने चाहिए आ सो so, ता करके कट्ठे लिया गए पोर्टफोलियो यू नो सस्टेनेबल डिवेलपमेंट टैक्नोलॉजी कैनेडा विच वॉज इन नैशनल रिजोर्स नैचुरल रिजोर्स उन्होंने लिया गया इनोवेशन के बच्चे Uh, we also made sure that we brought all the regional development agencies so for british columbia western economic diversification the primary focus though being creating the new economy creating new jobs helping transform our sector and making sure the future generation here want to know badhiya to badhiya mauke mil minister bens technology is going leaps and bounds te hun jada budget vi recently pesh kita gaya us de vich innovation te bada razor sharp focus rakhya ja raha hai todi sarkar vallon इनोवेशन डिस्क्राइब किमें करोगे आम लोगों वास्ते इनोवेशन इज़ अबाउट डूइंग थिंग्स बैटर इनोवेशन का भाव ये कहना है इट्स अबाउट बैटर सिटीज बैटर कम्यूनिटीज इट्स अबाउट अ बैटर जॉब इट्स अबाउट बैटर आउटकम्स अ बैटर क्वालिटी ऑफ एयर बैटर हैल्थ केयर बैटर फ्यूचर इनोवेशन है कि वी कैन डू थिंग्स बैटर एंड सो जो कोई भी मैंने पूछे कि इनोवेशन का मतलब की है कि साडा जरा निशाना है वी वॉन्ट हैव अ बैटर कैनडा असं चाहते हैं कि लोगों को वो वो मौके मिलन दैट्स वाई ए क्वालिटी ऑफ ऑपरचुनिटी एंड बैटर ऑपरचुनिटीज इज रियली एट द कोर ऑफ इनोवेशन इनोवेशन के जाहिर है कि ऑटोमेशन भी उसका एक बहुत व्डा हिस्सा है जी तो बहुत सारे इकोनॉमिक थिंक टैंक्स वालों तो पॉलिसी मेकर वालों ये भी हूँ एक रैड फ्लैग लहराया जा रहा है कि आते दस तो भी साल चाली प्रसेंट तो भी ज़्यादा नौकरियाँ कैनेडा मशीन विल रिपलेस ह्यूमन सो उसको कॉम्बैट करने वास्ते की प्लैन है सो एक बहुत वीयर सवाल तुम्हें पूछे क्योंकि जो तुम देख रहे हैं साढ़े जी गवर्नमेंट का फोकस इज रियली ऑन इनोवेशन एंड स्किल्स इट्स डियो वो तो एंगजायरी जी तुम गल कर रहे लोगों यही चीज़ की चिंता या फिक्र है कि मेरे जॉब बारे की होगा मेरे बच्चों की होगा गांह मौके की उन्होंने हो गए सो द फोकस ऑफ आर गवर्नमेंट सिंग लोग इट्स नार अबाउट यू नो ह्यूमन वर्सिज रोबाट्स और मशीनस इट्स अबाउट आस वर्किंग टूगैदर जो तुम जर्मनी देख रहे हैं साउथ करिया देख रहे हैं जपैन देख रहे हैं they have highly robotic highly intensely focused machine oriented economies and low levels of unemployment so our job is to really make sure people have the skills ke je koi bhi kaam karda hove jinu upgrade karni hun assi 3 billion dollar invest kita budget de vich to really focus on upgrading skills for adults je apne young bacche ya sade ko mere ko do kudiyan ek 9 saal di ek 6 saal di hai je oh digital literacy coding bare karna chahunde ha we even invest in money in that too 50 million dollars je koi university je college je padda ya and they need work integrated experiences ki o padde vi hon but they can also find meaningful employment asi ole vi kafi investment kiti hai my tax is here in british columbia we will be creating 10000 internship and co-op positions there for example and we're investing 400 million dollars to the youth employment strategy to help 33000 young people so idan de initiatives asi le aa rahe ha कि जो कल भी लोगों को फिक्र होटोमेन बारे जॉब्स बारे कि असी स्किल्स से फोकस करिए एंड दैट्स वट दिस बजट इज़ अबाउट इनोवेशन एंड स्किल्स साउथ एशियन कम्यूनिटी के बहुत सारे लोग ट्रांसपोर्टेन इंडस्ट्री के इनवॉल्व हैं तो ऑटोमेन का एक सब तो व्डा बदल जो मंडरा रहा वो ट्रांसपोर्टेन इंडस्ट्री के उपर ही है कि आते दस साल शायद तू ड्राइवर की या टैक्सीज की जरूरत ही ना पाए एवरीथिंग विल बी ऑटोमेटिड एंड ड्राइवरलैस उस एंगजाइटी को किस तरह तुम आंसर करोगे so that's a very good question as well because that is exactly what this budget is about saying look it changes are here yeah? either we embrace and play a leadership role and adopt these technologies the sanu force kita jaoga 
So we want to play a global leadership uh, uh, role in these technologies. But going back to my earlier point, Virji, JSE adopt kar de technologies, we create more opportunities. Mm -hmm. As you hold jobs create kar de. Sanu sare no pata ya ke North America, Europe, and Asia, very farming oriented communities on this again. I'm talking about decades and decades ago. Now we have 2% of the uh, people in the farming business that provide much more food. Mm -hmm. But there's so many other, job, other jobs that have been created. Same thing in the transportation sector. There'll be so many jobs created, even though we may go to automation, we may go to driverless vehicles. I have no doubt that it'll create more opportunities and more jobs, and that's the focus. Okay, how can we find those new jobs, and how can we prepare people? Did it the skills the Lord yeah? How can we give them the skills to be able to succeed in that economy? Do you see Canada the competitive advantage when, when it comes to innovation? I would say one area from the British Columbia perspective really would be clean technology. Mm -hmm. the population, roughly 13% of Canada's population. And according to KPMG's latest report about a few weeks ago in British Columbia in clean technology, 30% of the clean tech companies reside here in British Columbia. And you know, they, on average, they pay $84,000 per employee. So these are good quality jobs. Saying, look, the environment and the economy can go hand in hand, and it's about jobs. Mm -hmm. It's about good quality jobs. We've invested $1.4 billion for additional financing, loan guarantees, equities, and helping clean tech companies become more expert oriented. So that will definitely benefit British Columbia. That will definitely benefit a lot of the companies that exist here, close to 300 companies that employ 9,000 people. So we want to see both the number of companies grow and the number of people grow as well in those sectors. To see, Galkiti, eighty-four thousand dollars that the Indian jobs ne, which is of course a decent wage. But just see, Galkiti, Vancouver to Toronto, or ge share di. We know cost of living has gone through the roof. Correct. Real estate prices, car khareedna ta dour di Galkiti kithe thama te rent karna bhi mushkil ho gaya. Bilkul. So in order to attract top talent, it is zaruri hai ki jale share de vich aake wo kam kar rahe ne, wote rahe bhi sakan. Correct. Ode vaste sarkar da kitha. So this is such a, a very uh, critical issue uh, because of retention barrier, it's a quality of life issue. Mm -hmm. uh, and Asina up in a budget a bit, $11.2 billion allocated for affordable housing. So our government is saying, look, we understand that we brought previous measures to look at how we can look at down payments for homes to make sure there's higher thresholds, more stress tests for down payments as well. So when people are making investments, they are able to do so and not inflate the market. But more importantly, uh, we're focusing on affordable housing. This will create more units, more opportunities, and more opportunities for newcomers as well. One last question. With the, uh, the looming deficits and the huge deficits that we have in the budgets now, balance uh, that's far out in the future. Are we opening the door for tax increases in the future? No, our strategy is really about growth. Mm -hmm. How do we grow a true trillion dollar economy? Right now, we're projecting 1.9% growth in our GDP, right? And our debt to GDP ratio is still the strongest in any G7 country at 31.5%. And with low interest rates, we think now is the time to make investments. Pele budget, we made significant investments in infrastructure. Uh, obviously, in this budget, we also continued on that theme $2.2 billion for two projects here the Vancouver Broadway Initiative and the Surrey Light Rail Initiative as well will receive that funding. So public transit, public infrastructure is going to be very critical to British Columbia and to these regions as well. But overall, as you can now is the time to make these investments to grow the economy. business. business grow mortgage loan so they can grow the business. Same thing with Canada. We want to grow the economy, and we feel if we grow the economy, we will create jobs, and again, we will maintain a strong fiscal uh, situation as well. I do have one more question. I can't sure. walk away from this interview without asking that. Sure. What's the Trump effect on all the policies that we're making? Well, we're very sensitive to that. We recognize that the United States is our very important friend, ally, and partner, that we're very dependent on the U.S. economy, but they're also very dependent on us. Mm -hmm. 35 states, 35 states in the U.S., their number one customer is Canada, right? So we recognize it's a two-way relationship. So first thing we did is we built a very good relationship with the new administration. Prime Minister Trudeau went to Washington, met with President Trump, very successful meeting. Now we're continuing to build on that relationship and talk about the integrated economy, and this is a priority for our government, and we're going to be, remain very focused on a lot of issues, from softwood lumber, 
to uh, the auto sector, to the steel sector. Uh, we're going to continue to work with the U.S. administration and talk about the importance of our integrated economy. Uh, Minister Navdeep Benz, thank you very much. Thank you.